hello. I always sing that song to open it up. <laughs> hey, Wendy. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to Front Porch Talks with Mr. Curris. Here we are with all the uh, stuff. So, this is an unusual start to a video, and here is why. I lost some footage. <laughs> uh, man, I lost some footage of starting out the joist, and I'm not sure how, because I was being very specific in how I downloaded my footage to my memory card, but, I mean, to my, you know, hard drive, external hard drive. So, there's that. Um, so, we're going to start off this video where some of the joists are already up, but I will go through how I got the joist up and just the process of the rest of them in this video. So you'll still see everything that I did except maybe cutting some of the joist uh, tails and yeah, nothing too important. But if you have any questions, let me know. Um, and make sure you subscribe. Hit the subscribe, the drop, subscribe, and hit the like button. And make sure you follow along for the series. If you wanted a sneak peek, you might have already seen it in some of my other videos, but... <laughs> it's blown out, but you can see a little bit. And also... <gasps> We're building the room in the old living room, which is very fun. So, without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> I'm really fucking with all the energy Holly pursue, but I don't let it get to me They say the start of us might be the end of me I don't read minds, but I see signs Johnny and June and we walking on line Remember you I, I, I Stick a I don't Even know What I I can't Stick a It's all It's all Hello. It is uh, Wednesday and just got back from the beach this morning, took a nap. Now oh, it's back to the grind, you know. Uh, we are continuing on with the ceiling joist down there and that's about it. Yeah. Oh, and also I think I uh, did something to my shoulder. It's a little uh, tweet. <laughs> if I like move it certain way it's all like feels a little weird my ear though is better still hurts a little bit to lay on it from uh, the wall falling on my head <laughs> go check that episode if you haven't seen it um, also my wrist is still hurting it's just a little strained I think and then my hands are pretty good so yeah all the uh, all the hard work does some work on your body Alrighty, so I got a few up here and then I stopped here because there's this brace here and it's continued on here. Um, I'll put another one up there, um, but then I ran into this issue here where the uh, top wall comes together and there's not enough room for a joist here. So it needs to be 16 on center, so I might have to block this whole thing, uh, which is kind of annoying. Uh, but let me know what I should do. Uh, chances are, by the time you watch this, I already made a decision. <laughs> uh, but let me know what the best practice is. Uh, probably to not do my wall like that and to make sure I can lay the joist correctly. Uh, but yeah, let me know. I'm curious. Where are you? What are you doing over there? Alrighty, now we're putting up some uh, double joist 
for the openings and I've already put up a couple um, my structural engineer called for double joists around openings so window openings doors etc uh, so we're putting them around the openings um, we have two on this corner because the door and technically two for this window though it's not like exact um, I can show you I think so I just put up two right there and that will come down the load will come down on these double kings slash the jack stud to this window and then there's also two on this side wow I'm stupid <laughs> uh, right here that come down but they're not exactly on the window but this one on this side is exactly on the window there and then the other two over here so since those are pretty close I figured um, just the two and the two to cover both of the openings would be set um, would work just fine uh, these joists are to support the roof so I'm going to be putting purlins in um, I think that's what they're called to support the roof um, and so those will sit on the double joists so we'll space them out fairly evenly um, there'll be about five feet apart so we have one two and then we need to put another one here three another one here four and then we got two up here so it should be good and let's get it I think I have one more to do, then I'll be done with the joist, excluding... I still actually need to nail in the top plates, fill the nails, bow, 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 and nail in the joist correctly. Right now they're just screwed, so I'll do that tomorrow, uh, first thing. Um, but yeah, I think I have one more to do. Oh, two more actually, because I still need to do this one here. And then I need one more double plate, which means I might need to cut another one. Yeah, I think so. Alrighty, I cut a few more pieces and <laughs> I'm gonna call it a night. I'm just too tired. It's been a long, uh, long trip, as any of y'all know, with kids and going on vacation. It's not really vacation. You get like a few hours of vacation a day. The rest of the time it's, you know, normal parenting somewhere else. And, you know, thankful we can get out of the house for a little while. That's good, but it still wears you out. Um, so, I am going to call it a night. It's almost 8, I think. My wife got fajitas, so I'm going to go chow on those, charge up some batteries, and then I'll finish the joist in the morning. Yeah, um, and then I'll continue on with the uh, rafters. And, or actually, you know, in the top plates and stuff like that and then the rafters and then yeah get that roof going so super exciting super fun time thank you for watching thank you for subscribing make sure to subscribe make sure you give me some money and that's about it check out the merch in the link in the profile and all the other links okay okay uh i will see y'all next time see you out there i'll see you in this next video